Hi everyone, it's Wendy Lane. Thanks for tuning in. This is Death by Plastic, episode three. Um, the last couple of days I talked about plastic bags and um, that's one of the biggest problems. You can buy cloth instead. And yesterday I talked about straws and um, alternatives to straws, plant-based straws and stainless steel straws. So today I'm going to touch on some other plastic things that you can do, that you can eliminate to make the world a better place. Get rid of some of that plastic pollution that's killing all the animals and leaching chemicals, toxins into your food and water supply. Okay, so what's the big deal with plastic, you might ask? Um, I want you to know that every single piece of plastic that was ever created still exists. It's impossible to break it down completely. Even when it's incinerated, those pieces of plastic are still here. So I didn't know this, and that's, that's really shocking, right? So, and globally, we make 300 million tons of plastic a year, right? And 78% of that is dumped. It's not recycled at all. So you can probably see the problem. That's why we need to stop using plastic. It's not enough to just stop, you know, recycle. Okay, the average American alone throws away 185 pounds of plastic. Plastic's really light. So 185 pounds per person, you can get the picture there. Um, so. The solution, what should we do? Um, polystyrene, otherwise known as styrofoam, don't use it. Don't go to businesses that use styrofoam because if they're still using styrofoam, God only knows what else they're doing to your food. Because if they're that callous to the state of the planet, how sensitive do you think they're gonna be to the quality of your food? I mean, that's the way I see it. So um, in Miami, they tried to get rid of styrofoam to outlaw it, but the Florida Retail Association, they wanted to keep it. So if you can't do it that way, the only thing left is for each person to make a statement. Don't go there anymore. Tell them why you're not going there anymore. If people walk in every day, a certain amount every week to a business and say, I'm not coming to see you anymore because you use styrofoam and it's not okay, they'll consider changing that. Um, Extinctions are occurring at a thousand times the normal rate. So if you can make a huge difference by not using plastic, I think it's a good idea if you want any little animals left to show your grandchildren, right? Okay, so, and one more thing I forgot to tell you yesterday about straws. You cannot wash straws. If they are in hot water or exposed to a lot of heat, they'll start to melt and they release a lot of toxic petrochemicals. It's also really interesting that I've never seen that printed on the side of a straw package, have you? So um, you have to find these things out for yourself because no one's really looking out for you. I, however, I am looking out for you and I'm looking out for the planet. And if I find out something that's gonna help, I will let you know right here at Tip of the Day by Wendy K. <laughs> okay, first thing are razor blades, okay? Razor blades, very popular razor. They make three, four, five blade razors now. And you don't need two, three, four, five razor blades to shave. If you do, you have a serious hormonal imbalance and you need to get to the doctor. Um, since the beginning of time, the good old fashioned steel razor blade has been used by men and they have much coarser facial hair than you have anywhere on your body, most likely, and it works just great. And the, you can get an old fashioned stainless steel razor to use with this. So everything is recycled. It lasts a really long time. You don't need to replace the body of it and you have steel. Um, or you can go this route and get it lasered off and then you don't have to worry about hair removal and you're not leaving a, you know, anything behind at all, which is probably the best bet, but it's a little pricey. So that's one thing. The other thing is toothbrushes. Plastic, right? How often are they telling you to replace this now? Like every three months? Every three months they want you to throw away a big piece of plastic with all the people that are in the world. Does that make any sense? I mean, what's wrong with bleaching it a little and then rinsing it and drying it really well and reusing it? I think that that's excessive. And remember guys, you're dealing with marketing. Don't believe everything that they tell you. Timothy Leary, my favorite quote. Think for yourself and question authority. Okay, instead of this, you can get this. This is a fabulous bamboo toothbrush, okay? It's only like $3. This is one that they were selling at my local organic market and they probably have lots of them available. So it's not as expensive and you can um, use this instead of plastic, 
You know bamboo, well, it's biodegradable, so that's a really good choice. Um, one thing I do like is this, especially if you're gonna keep it for a long time, your toothbrush is not gonna get dirty if you keep it disinfected and then you cover the head, very simple. This is plastic, but I will have this forever until the hinge breaks, hopefully that. I've had it for a couple of years already, you just clean that off too. So these are options if you're really worried about sanitation. The other thing is water bottles. I think everyone knows that water bottles are a problem. And I have seen a lot of people making an effort to have their own water bottle. Um, again, I'm a huge fan of steel, but stainless steel can be really heavy if you're talking about a large bottle. Um, this is a really good one. It's quite lightweight. Um, it has a plastic lid, which is now on the floor, but the inside is stainless steel and it's really nice. And um, I use this one, it's, it's, when I'm hiking around, it can attach to the backpack. And if you want a larger one, you know, I know a lot of people go, they don't have their home water processors, and so they have to go and fill it reverse osmosis or something somewhere else. So in that case, um, you can get non-PVC, this is like a gallon size, containers, which do not leach plastic into the container. So they're safe and they're very lightweight. If you get them, that's fine. Just use them all the time. Don't be um, you know, changing your mind frequently. So if you just think wisely, you guys, when you're using, when you're buying plastic, am I gonna keep it? Am I gonna use it? Or am I gonna end up tossing it and adding to the problem? So that's all I had to talk about today. I think I hit on everything. Um, get out there, start thinking about what you're doing with your plastic bags and toothbrushes and, and straws and everything. When you start looking around, you're going to be shocked because I was totally shocked at how many things I'm using that are plastic. And if everyone just makes a little difference, just a little bit, guys, just try a little bit. Huge impact, okay? So thanks for listening and I hope you have a great day. Bye.